Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to start a series of videos covering Stitch Design Factory, which is a program that resides within PE Design 11. There are a couple of ways to open Stitch Design Factory. One of those is to go to your Start menu, and you can go down to PE Design 11, and we'll do that. And you can choose the drop down, and you'll see it right here. The other way that you can do it is to go to Option and select it. So we'll go ahead and select it. I had recorded several videos for the Luminaire, and those were with the character and decorative stitches. In Lesson 4, I showed you how to take a design that was created with Stitch Design Factory, and by design I mean a stitch, and use that stitch on the sewing machine. So today I want to show you how to do that. But let me mention, these stitches can be used on other machines as well. Your machine needs to be able to read a PMP, that's Paul, or PMV, like Victor, format. The PMV format is a format that's 7 millimeters or less and the PMP format is a wide stitch format. And that's what the Luminaire will read. So one of the things I did prior to this video is I went in to the settings on my both my Dream Machine and Luminaire, and I got my machine number. And the reason I did that is if you go under File and you go to Options, you can also go to Options over here on the right, you will be able to, first of all, to customize, and we'll talk about this more in subsequent videos. You can go to your system unit, change it to millimeters, go to your select export file format, and what I'll do right now is choose the default, but you can go in and enter your machine number. Now, I'm taking a photograph that I have from page 7 on my Luminaire, and I'll type that number in. And it's 10 digits. And if you make a mistake, make sure you just go back and check your number. And I'll choose check. And it said that my machine can use patterns that are larger than the main area. Is it all right to change the format? And I'll choose yes. Now what this is going to do is going to change it from the narrow format, which is PMV, to a PMP. And think of plump or, or pumped up, because that's what PMP will do. It will allow you to use a bigger stitch. And we'll choose OK. The first thing you notice when you open up the Stitch Design Factory, you'll see this line. This is the beginning of your stitch. And one of the things that I want to do is go over here under import and I want to use one of the decorative stitches that's built in to the software. Now it can be either from this category or it can be from the satin stitches or cross stitch. We'll go into the satin stitches and I'll select a couple of stitches. And I want to create something that you can see where it's important to see how the width works. So let me just choose a couple of designs and we'll move on. So we'll, we'll choose this little, what appears to be a heart, first of all, and you'll see the width of it. Now I can change that and make it wider, but I'll notice that the file name ends with PSF. So if it's PSF, that means it is an edible extension, meaning if you save this design, you can go in and make changes to it. So let's import that, and you can see that little heart. And now let's find an, another stitch to add to it, and I want it to be a wider stitch. So let's see. We'll choose this one and choose import. All right, now one of the things that I might want to do is I might want to adjust this so that 
this moves down on the line and I don't have that big jump that you saw a moment ago. And now you can see that it looks fairly clean. You, you can see it over here in the preview window. The, these are nodes and the nodes that are selected, like if I click off, I can draw a bounding box around them and select the nodes, all of them at once. I can also go in and choose select and it will select everything so you can see that everything is selected and I can look at the format of it. Now I do see some more problems so I'll, I'll show you how to resolve that in a separate video but you can see right here there's a problem up here on the top of this. I can choose the node select again and I can actually delete one of these points and probably resolve this by moving this back to the line and we'll delete another point and see if that clears it up and it does. Okay so now what I want to do is I want to save this so I'll go file save as and this is going to save it in the PSF format and we want to save it with the PSF ending. That's the only ending you can get and choose save. Now that we've saved it, let's go ahead and send it to our machine. So to do that, we'll go file export and we'll export to the network machine that I set up. And by the way, if you haven't set up your network machine, all you have to do is go under options go to network machine settings and choose add. Now this is true for Luminaire. I also have a dream machine. It has a wireless card, but it does not recognize that wireless card to set it up. So in that case, what you would do is you would export it to a USB stick or drive and take that to your machine. So my wireless is set up and I'll go ahead and choose File, Export, and I'll export to my machine. Now you'll see that it's finished outputting the data for this file. So if I go up to my B pocket in the character and decorative stitches, I'll find this stitch file. There are a few other things that I want to show you, and that is what happens if you have a format that's too large for your machine. So let me go back into File Options and we'll go back to the export format. We'll change it back to the default and choose OK. Now you see it's back to a PMV and we'll choose OK. And what I want to do is stretch a couple of points outside of the 7 millimeters. Now let's see what happens. And I'm not going to save this right now, but I will just go ahead and try to export it. So I'll try to export it to my network machine. And you see that some points aren't in the main area. That's because I went back to the default, which is the narrowest setting, and I need to enter my machine number for it to be able to read the wide format. We'll clear the screen and let me show you something else. We'll choose File New. I don't need to save this. Now, one of the other things you might want to do is to create your own stitch file. You need to think about how your machine is working back and forth and side to side whenever you're doing this. So you, you have to think in terms of a continuous stitch. And you can see right now that what I have is this little triangle. And I can add to it. I can make another triangle at the bottom. And if I want to have the same amount of space, I'll use my grid for that. And I've created my first stitch file. Now I need to double click. And here's this file. kind of looks like a kite. The other thing you can do, we'll clear the screen, you can use a pen. Now, one thing I'll tell you about using the pen is you might see that, yeah, I can make some really nice 
stitches and do some something that looks more like a um, stipple you'll notice that this has some really sharp points and even if I go in and select the points and I choose a right click I cannot change this to a curve so keep in mind that you have to sometimes make your nodes closer together to show the machine what a curve will look like. We'll look at that in some of the future videos. This just kind of whets your appetite for how to use Stitch Design Factory with your machine. I hope you enjoy the videos and if you have an interest I do have a YouTube group that I manage that is for the Luminaire. That group is called Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. I have to admit, I, this name is, has caused some problems in searches. If you can't find it and you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel and you want to join, just send me a note on YouTube and I'll send you the link. Thanks for your time today as always.